uh, if you when you talk about business business is uh, more of uh, we call it as sustained profitable growth we call it as spg profitable growth growth have to be profitable and it is should be sustainable also so this spg comes out of a formula which we call it as in physics we have studied force is equal to mass into acceleration so mass in business we call it as the turnover and the acceleration we call it as the percentage of profit in absolute numbers if you are able to create a value for the company which is derived out of this formula that is how we grow uh, in business once again we mention as no business you can be uh, stagnant it has to either go down or it have to go up so the opportunity is always to grow up the speed at which you grow again depends upon how fast you are able to implement strategies and that is how the key factor in uh, steering growth as far as looker is concerned right uh, tell us a little bit about um, you know the challenges that you face while building looker in india and uh, according to you, what would be the top three challenges uh, that you really faced out there see today uh, you look at uh, many people uh, talk about uh, opportunity is coming on the other side of coin as like you mentioned challenge even uh, difficult times which we go through this pandemic and all that which is also to certain people it's an opportunity so considering the situation we convert all these problems into business but the most important factor which is coming as far as growth is concerned today is the speed at, at which you are able to do things the entire business industry has become highly volatile in which speed is a, a it's a key factor today the first one who is able to convert this opportunity naturally becomes a leader in the market so irrespective of the country in which we pitch irrespective of uh, products in which we pitch we ensure that the strategies which we go as far as speed is concerned it is well focused and converted into business right um, thanks for that uh, you know i want to talk a little bit about uh you know the financial journey uh, that you've uh, gone through because uh you know you've had kodak mahindra bank as a key financial partner uh in the journey so tell us a little bit about how the bank has really supported you uh, through your journey See, today if you look at the, we have been one of the companies which have grown very rapidly I mean, you can imagine within a span of 7 uh, years we are touching 350 crores and we are looking at the uh, thousand crores by 2025 it is if the business is like a car the fuel is the working capital or the money which it pump in the best part of potec is that they, you are able to catch up with the speed at which we are going so the bureaucracy and the things which we normally call it as public sector or even certain private that is not seen in uh, uh, potec it is a more of a flat organization so you, you are able to judge the organization interest very fast and able to scale up your financial support otherwise what will happen is we will be trying to you know do a lot of uh, i mean goal setting and all that but ultimately financial support from the bank is extremely important most important thing on timely basis if it is you have to be given today you are able to you are able to speed at which Uh, we are working so that is a great uh, advantage being working with uh, kotec right uh, a final question before i let you go in terms of what is the next stage of growth for luka looking like uh, in terms of scaling up the business you said 1000 crores uh, revenues are just uh, around the corner uh, but what would it take to reach that 1000 crore be the advantage is the government also is promoting uh, local manufacturing compared to Uh, other chinese and all that so we have put up the uh, first uh, one of the largest uh, uh, led manufacturing plant in kambatur which is running extremely well we are moving into the second phase of putting up one of the most modern fans manufacturing unit in kambatur which have just started so one is aspiration another one is like you mentioned a dream which, which is followed by vision followed by action so 2025 when we look at 1000 crores we have already planned whether it is manufacturing whether it is distribution 
things are in the pipeline so we don't see any i mean hiccups as far as achieving these numbers a certain element of you know break was there because of pandemic but now it has become a part of business today so we all that also we don't see as a, a problem which can come across in achieving our numbers by at least 1000 crores by 2025 All right. Uh, on that note, thank you very much uh, for joining us today. It's really been a pleasure speaking with you, and we wish you all the very best in your journey to thousand crore rupees. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Priya.